Hi, I'm Andy Flanagan and I'm the director of Christians on the Left. Uh, it's been quite a year, 2016, hasn't it? And um, gosh, I, a lot of people have been emailing and texting me and saying, Andy, what, how do we respond to this? And my response has most regularly been, I think we need to keep doing what we've been doing, which is to try and love God and love our neighbours as ourselves. And that phrase, love our neighbours as ourselves, has been resonating around my head. It's only recently I've realised that when Jesus called us to love our neighbours as we love ourselves, that there are serious implications, there are actually political implications of that statement. How do we love ourselves? We, we love ourselves by doing a whole host of practical and invisible things to keep the show of life on the road. Yes, it's important to love ourselves by thinking about what we believe, but also it's really important to love ourselves by trying to get a job, trying to keep a roof over our heads, maybe at least brushing our teeth once a day. We do a whole host of practical things to keep our lives working. So if we're called to love other people in the same way that we love ourselves, we are called to care practically about people's needs. We are called to make sure that my neighbour Frank can actually get the hip operation that he needs, that he's got the help to get up the stairs that he needs that actually he can be protected from antisocial behaviour when people come to throw stones and shout at his window. All these things have politics at their heart, healthcare, police, education. If you care and if you love your neighbour, to fully love them, you've got to care about politics. You've got to be involved in politics, otherwise those buses will not be there, otherwise that GP will not be there. Otherwise that street will not be cleaned. Otherwise their bins will not be collected. To love somebody means to care practically about their needs and to love somebody fully means to care about the politics and the political context in which they sit. So I hope in 2017, more and more of us will be loving God and loving our neighbors as ourselves by getting politically engaged. Question, what happens when all the mild mannered calm, well-off, comfortable, just getting on with my life type people think that all you have to do in politics is vote and that's the sum total of their involvement. Question what happens? Answer 2016. That's what happened.